All right, folks, this video we're going to uh, install the Thermaltake Tough Air. Let me go ahead and get the box. Tough Air 110. All right, got this off of Amazon, $35. And of course, uh, what we have in front of us is the Gigabyte Eris Z690i. I uh, forgot exactly which model this is, but. It's the one I unboxed. It's a DDR5 one. We will be following along with the uh, Intel instructions. All right. So you'll see we need uh, the bracket. It looks like it's the cheap plastic bracket. The, the nice metal one is for AMD. And we have assorted hardware uh, to include this part here. These two brackets that will eventually go on the fans. So unlike, you know, a lot of CPU coolers, we'll actually use the nice plastic pieces to, to hold this in place. Uh, and this will have a four pin connection at the end. All right. So first thing appears, folks, we've got to get our back plate uh, ready. And actually, as I look at this. You have to have the, uh, they've circled this A and B, where the other one is potentially, let's see here. So this says Intel, and this says AMD. So my unboxing video, I might have botched that, but uh, you can tell that uh, one side goes on one. So one of the, we've got this bracket, and then we've got this bracket, right? And so this has a B right there. If we flip it over, it's hard to see this stuff, folks. We'll, we'll, get, it, we'll get it laid out, and then I will show you exactly how to use it. All right, so looking at the instructions. You see A, B, right? This corresponds with LGA 1200. So hopefully you're watching this for uh, 12th gen. So that's B. Where does that matter at? Over here on our other thing where you're going to uh, run your screws through basically. B is uh, greater dimensions out than, uh, than A. Um, if you guys happen to know that. So 11... LGA 1151, 1200 are, you know, not necessarily compatible with 1700 because of the bolt pattern being uh, greater for LGA 1700. So, here is uh, the parts that we're going to put together. And so underneath the CPU, we're going to put this uh, plastic piece with four bolts going through it, okay? And AMD is actually going to uh, face up, all right? So that's interesting enough. So we got our bag of hardware here. It appears this bag of hardware gets used for every one of the builds. All right. So we want to use the outside ones. And I'm just going to, I'm going to try this this way. Uh, maybe, you know, I've already screwed this up, folks. Okay, sorry. So, here's your holes. And make sure you go outside. All right. Now it looks like these will stay in place. So what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to pop this, turn this over. It looks like it works. So then you're going to try and align these holes, the outside cut out with the hole in the motherboard. So that went in there pretty good. We'll do this next one down here. And finally, the last one. So they're 
they're in there pretty tight. Um, maybe so tight that this last one's going to be a problem to get in. Um, <laughs> So we're having a little bit of a problem. Get the last one in there. And boom. So they're in. Now we're going to press those in. Flip the motherboard over. And, you know, for this initial test with this thing, I've only got a Celeron on this, okay? I know you guys are probably going to be disappointed. Why has this guy got a Z690i and he's using a crappy Celeron? Well... We, uh, we don't have any of the good CPUs available, so we have to use this one. Alright, so what is next, folks? Um, we put that in. Now we need the spacers, okay? So the spacers are in here. And the question is, how many different size spacers are there? Well, you're looking for uh, A for the Intel build, okay? According to the directions. So this is actually pretty nice. I did put a uh, thermal take CPU cooler, a uh, water cooler together. Oh my god, it had so many parts, but this is definitely a lot easier and simpler. Alright, so these guys, folks, you're just going to rotate them around. Cyclic stress will get them to break off. And don't lose them because they only give you four. Alright. So what's the next thing we're going to do? Slide these over top of our bolts. And hopefully you guys saw that from that angle. You're going to do the same for the bottom two here. And those are on, okay? Now the bracket. And this is where... Probably got to get this exactly right. Um, I see a... Pi B, the other side has nothing on it for letters, right? So when you're looking at your picture, you can see there is a specific way they want you to do this. All right, let's line our picture up like it is. So here is the uh, lever right here. You can see the lever down here, hopefully. Maybe I need to rotate. Lever's down to the right, okay? So we're basically trying to orient it this the exact same way. So for our picture, we're coming in like so. Alright, there's the A. The A will be this way. So I'm going to drop this down on there. And it's going to fit, hopefully, into these outside holes, okay? Or the outside cut out. And guess what, folks? This did not work. Ah. Are you kidding me? So, um... This is not compatible, I would say. Let me take my RAM out. Kingston Fury, 5600 megahertz, DDR5. Taking that out. I should have taken that out earlier so you could see. So we're having quite a bit of interference in here. Um, you know, not a good idea to force stuff in. I'm not sure what it's hitting. But it's not wanting to go all the way down. Um, yep, I could be wrong. So I don't really want to force this in. But it's not really sitting in there good. Yeah, it's it's catching it's catching here on our B BTB board, which is part of the Z690i. So, uh, I will say, folks, this is not compatible. Now, I could take, 
I could take the M.2s out, right? But then we got no operating system. So that would suck. Uh, dang. Let me try one more time. Come in at a different angle. We want to, if we can get this underneath the BTB. Nope. Look at that. So if you, you come in underneath the BTB, then you get stuck on this thing. So that doesn't do you any good. If I come in this way, let's try and come in this way. It's, it's hitting that side. And for some reason, it just does not want to work. Now, if we flip this over, we uh, got our hardware in the right spot. Now, of course, we could come in and, you know, machine this down, right? Do I want that hassle, though? No, I do not. Um, if we go back to the picture again, make sure I'm putting it in, right? Because this can only go in one way. Well, maybe that's not a true statement. Potentially, this should be able to go in all kinds of different ways. But it still makes contact. So, regardless, the dimensions on this thing appear to be the same width all around. Uh, so, no matter how I put this in there, it just ain't going to work. So, folks, good news, good news, bad news. The next video, I will uh, install it in this, and we won't have any problems. Thanks for checking out the video. This was a bust. Um, I guess I'm changing the title of this. Um, Tough Air 110, not compatible with Aris Z690i. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.